Welcome to video number 6 for chapter 1 of Maths 2 Standard 9. We are discussing practice set 1.3. Question number 1. Write the following statements in if-then form. First one. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Answer. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite angles of that quadrilateral are congruent. Second. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Answer. If a quadrilateral is a rectangle, then the diagonals of that quadrilateral are congruent. Third, in an isosceles triangle, the segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the base is perpendicular to the base. Answer. If a triangle is an isosceles triangle, then the segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the base is perpendicular to the base. Question number two. Write converses of the following statements. First, the alternate angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal are congruent. Answer. If the alternate angles made by the transversal with the two lines are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Second, if a pair of the interior angles made by a transversal of two lines are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. Answer, if the two lines, if the two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, then the pair of interior angles are supplementary. Third one, the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Answer. If the diagonals of a rectangle, uh, if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are congruent, then that quadrilateral is a rectangle. Now we move on to problem set 1. Question number 1. Select the collect correct alternative from the answers of the questions given below. First, how many midpoints does a segment have? Various options are mentioned. We know that a segment has one and only one midpoint. Therefore, the correct answer is option one, only one. Question number two. How many points are there in the intersection of two distinct lines? We know that when two lines meet, the point of intersection is just one. So the correct answer is option C, 1. Third one, how many lines are determined by three distinct points? Now if we see, let's take three distinct points P, Q, R and they are in a straight line. That means they are collinear. Then they form, they, when we join these points, we get one single line. That is case 1 and case 2. If the points are non-collinear, then when we join them, we get three separate lines. So we have answer as option 3, 1 or 3. Sub-question 4, find distance AB if coordinates of A and B are minus 2 and 5 respectively. So when we solve this, we get as 5 minus of minus 2 is 5 plus 2 answer should be 7 so we have option c 7 <coughs> next is if p dash q dash r and distance p q is 2 distance p r is 10 then find q r here we go p dash q dash r distance p q is 2 and distance PR is 8. Sorry, PR is 10. So QR would be PR minus PQ. That is 10 minus 2. Answer is 8. That is option B. Question number 2. On a number line, coordinates of P, Q, R are 3, minus 5 and 6 respectively. State with reason whether the following statements are true or false. 
Before we move on to the statements, we need to find distance PQ, distance QR and distance PR. Coordinate of P and Q are 3 and minus 5. So when we solve distance PQ, we get as 8. Coordinates of Q and R are minus 5 and 6. When we solve for distance QR, we get the answer as 11. And distance PR, the coordinates are 3 and 6. Distance PR, we get it as, we get the answer as 3. So, so now let us compare and see if the statements are true or false. The first one is distance PQ plus distance QR is equal to distance PR. Distance PQ plus QR. PQ is 8, QR is 11. When we add, we get it as, we get the answer as 19. 19 obviously is not equal to 3. That is distance PR. Therefore, this particular statement is false. Next, distance PR plus distance RQ. RQ is nothing but QR. So we have PR as 3 and QR as 11. When we add, we get the answer as 14. 14 is not equal to PQ, which is 8. Therefore, this statement is also false. Third one, distance RP plus distance PQ. RP is nothing but PR. PR plus, plus PQ is 3 plus 8. Answer is 11. And this 11 is equal to RQ or QR. That is again 11. So this is equal. That means this statement distance RP plus distance PQ is equal to distance RQ is true. Fourth one. Distance PQ minus distance PR, that is 8 minus 3, which is 5. And this is not equal to 11, distance QR. That means statement 4 again is false. Now question number 3. Coordinates of some pairs of points are given below. Hence, find the distance between each pair. Now certain coordinates are mentioned, we are going to assume certain, alpha, certain uh, alphabets for them. So let's take the, let the coordinates of first one A and B are 3 and 6 respectively. 6 is greater than 3, so distance AB would be 6 minus 3, which is 3. So answer for first one is 3. Second one, we have minus 9 and minus 1. So, I'm going to assume it as C and D. So, we know that minus 1 is greater than minus 9. Therefore, distance CD would be minus 1 minus of minus 9 is equal to minus 1 plus 9. The answer is 8. Third one, E and F minus 4 and 5. 5 is greater so I get distance EF is equal to 5 minus of minus 4, which is my 5 plus 4. The answer is 9. Question 3 is continued over here. Sub question 4. Let the coordinates of P and Q are as X and minus 2 respectively. Now we don't know the value of X. So here we are going to assume Suppose x is greater than 0. That means x is greater than minus 2. So distance pq would be x minus of minus 2. So the answer is x plus 2. Since we don't know the value of x, we are going to keep it as it is. Case number 2. Suppose x is smaller than 0. Then x is smaller than minus 2. Distance PQ would be minus 2 minus X. Now this we cannot solve further and we don't know the value of X. Hence we keep it as it is. But you have to note that here minus 2 minus X is a positive integer. When we solve this, when we get the value of X and when we solve this, the answer is a positive number. Case 3. Suppose X is equal to 0. 
then distance PQ would be 0 minus of minus 2 which is equal to 0 plus 2. The answer is 2. Sub question 5. Let the coordinates of R and S as x plus 3 and x minus 3. Now here x plus 3 is greater than x minus 3. So distance RS is equal to x plus 3 minus of x minus 3. When we open the bracket we get x plus 3 minus x plus 3. This x and this x gets cancelled and we are left with 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. Sub question 6. Let the coordinates L and M as minus 25 and minus 47 respectively. We know that minus 25 is greater than minus 47. Therefore distance LM will be minus 25 minus of minus 47. We get minus 25 plus 47 is equal to 22. Seventh one, let the coordinates of G and H as 80 and minus 85. Now we know that 80 is greater than minus 85. So distance GH would be 80 minus minus 85 is equal to 80 plus 85. The answer is 165. Now my dear students, this particular question 4 we shall do in the next video. That was all for today. Thank you for watching.